Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and in today's video I'm going to be going through five things you should never say to a chinchilla owner. So these are just things that have been said to me in the past that have irked me a little bit. So basically this is just a grind my gears video. You know what really grinds my gears? So let's get started. Number five, chinchillas are just large rats. Now, I get this one quite often, and although I do like rats, and I think that they're super cute and make great pets, most of the time when people describe chinchillas as rats, they mean it in a derogatory way, and that's why it gets my back up slightly when people describe my chinchillas as rats. Now, having said that, some people describe the chinchillas looking like mice and that doesn't bother me as much even my husband when he first got his chinchilla he called his chinchilla big mouse because it looked like a big mouse and it's a more of an endearing term whereas the rat term is really meant as like your chinchillas are vermin basically it is a weird one and have you heard this in the past where people have described your chinchillas as rats i'd be interested to know does it bother you or do you just let it go over your head let me know in the comments below. Number four, chinchillas are dumb. Now I hear this one quite a lot as well. And although I do think it's true that chinchillas don't look before they leap and often misjudge jumps and they can quite often run into things because their eyesight isn't the best, this does not make them dumb. and. It really does do them a disservice. They actually are quite intelligent animals. Maybe they're not on the same intelligence level as a dog or a cat, but they are still extremely intelligent animals. And to call them dumb, it's a little bit of a disservice, as I've said. Now, I think there's kind of an unwritten rule here that you're allowed to call your own pets derpy and dumb and silly because it's meant in an affectionate way. You don't really believe that. It's just, a, it's just an affectionate term for them. But it's quite different when someone else calls one of your pets dumb, I'll tell you that now. So yeah, so they're not dumb. They're actually really, really quite intelligent. Number three, chinchillas are boring and all they do is sleep. Now I've heard this one a lot from a lot of my ex-work colleagues who have only ever seen chinchillas in pet shops. And I don't know about you, but in the UK at least, pet stores generally don't open at night. And it might be the same around the rest of the world. And because of that, the only time they ever see a chinchilla is in a pet shop. Of course, during the day they are asleep and they don't really move a lot. But once it hits that dusk and night time, they are very, very active and they are incredibly interesting to interact with and play with and they're just very, very interesting to watch. They're quite active and they can run quite fast, they leap about the place, they play with toys, they do all kinds of interesting things and people just don't see it because that's the only interaction they have with a chinchilla is in a pet shop. So yeah, I often have to correct people and say, oh no, 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 once it hits night time, it's a riot. <laughs> Number two, chinchillas are really, really, really quiet. Shh. Now, whilst it is true that chinchillas are not the most vocal animals in the world, they're far less vocal than say a guinea pig and their vocalizations tend to be really, really quiet and soft with the exception of the alarm bark, which is insanely loud. But as a rule, they're generally not that vocal. And during the day, you probably wouldn't notice that I even kept chinchillas because they sleep during the day and they're not that loud as in terms of vocalization. However, at night, it's a whole different story. Once they start getting active, then you're going to hear them jumping and leaping and running around the cage. And you may hear them chewing wood, chewing toys, just generally just getting up to all kinds of mischief in their cage. And it can be quite loud. And 
it is quite hard to sleep in the same room as a chinchilla so although they are quiet in themselves they certainly aren't quiet at night and if you have them in the same room as you then they can keep you awake most definitely so yeah although they are quiet in themselves it, when people say oh your chinchillas are so so quiet you know you've got a really quiet animal there i do think you have no idea what it's like at night especially when you've got several chinchillas that want to play at night time it can be quite loud number one now this is one that i've heard multiple multiple times before and it's normally from the slightly older generation i have to say and it's when somebody touches and feels a chinchilla for the first time and they're blown away by how soft they are they will make this kind of joke and say oh they'd make a nice pair of gloves or oh scarf or oh they'd make a nice hat and uh, I know it's meant to be a joke but it's just and it's one that once you've heard it once or twice it's no longer funny anymore and unfortunately chinchillas are still very highly prized within the fur industry and there are still fur farms all around the world not in the UK I might add UK fur farming is illegal but around the rest of the world I know that it is still a very profitable business and it's not a particularly nice one and uh, yeah so it just seemed odd to me that you go from oh isn't your animal lovely to oh I'd like to wear it around my neck <laughs> it's just a bit and I know it's meant as a joke but it's just one of those ones where it's a bit like the chicken joke I hear this one a lot with chickens as well which is I'll introduce a chicken or a duck to somebody and they'll say oh look a nice roast dinner all that Sunday lunch sorted meaning that because chickens are so associated with food that's the immediate thing is oh look there's a KFC walking you know it's meant to be funny but it just is after the first couple of times you just you just have to smile and nod your head and go yeah okay so that's five things I think you shouldn't say to a chinchilla owner. I don't take this video too seriously, you know, I'm not really that, that fussed about what people say to me. It's just most things are said out of ignorance or just trying to be funny and they're just not. So <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments below anything that's been said to you about your chinchillas that's just annoyed you slightly because it'd be interesting to read and we can all have a good laugh about, you know, non-chinchilla owners just not getting chinchilla owners. So yeah, okay, anyway. I'll see you in a video soon. Goodbye.